Hey guys, and thanks for checking out the channel. On this episode of the Ultimate CRF250F build, we're going to be installing, testing, and reviewing the Pirelli MT21 tires. Now, we're going to slow this down a little bit, take you guys step by step, show you all the tips and tricks that you need to know to make sure you can put your tires on without popping a tube, at least hopefully. But this is just the beginning. We're going to be installing an exhaust system, a power commander. We're doing suspension wheels. <laughs> We're not doing training wheels, but we're going to see in these training wheels soon. Anyway, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. It's going to be a ride and a good time. So let's get the tools together and get started on this. All right, here we are at the tool table and we've got everything lined out that you're gonna need for this job. We've got some scrap two by fours. We cut these to around three feet of length. I laid out some pry bars, although we probably won't use those. We'll probably just use these larger screwdrivers. Just get some tire spoons from the hazard fraught. <laughs> Harbor easier. Freight, you could get some spoons from there. It would make it a little easier, but you could do it with these. I'll show you how. As far as hand tools that we're gonna use, you can't do anything without a 10 millimeter. Uh, then we'll need a 24, a 17. We've got a 12 here and then some Velcro. Uh, it comes in handy, I'll show you. Valve core tool, you can't do anything without that, of course. This is just some scrap rubber uh, tube or something that we cut up. I'll show you where to use that, it'll help out a lot. Baby powder, you gotta have some soap, some dish soap, and then the, wait a minute, where's the... Uh, the grip pliers? Grip, <laughs> grip pliers, <laughs> vice, yes, where, where, where are they at? I thought you grabbed them. Well, because I had to go to the store earlier, so... Like, who drives like that? Desperate times for desperate measures, bud. <laughs> We didn't die. Okay, so now that Tubby's got his snacks and we have our freaking vice grips, uh, we can uh, go ahead. You can't, you can't work on <laughs> the stomach. We can get started on the next scene. All right, so now that we've got the tools lined out and you see exactly what tools that we need to get this job done, I want to show you a close up of a bare rim. What we've got, pretend this pencil is the actual bead of the tire. When we're trying to pry this tire off, we want to get the screwdriver and we want to insert it just barely in there. Don't jab down like that and pinch the tube. We just want to be under the very edge of that bead like that. And we're going to pry it up and it's going to pop loose. We don't want to stick it too far. We don't want to pinch. Now going back on, again, don't jab it in there. Just come to the very edge. You see where I'm rubbing the edge of that, that wheel and pick it up and it will fall down into place. How we're going to use this once we get to that step, we're going to set it in place like this and press it all the way down against the actual rim all the way down to the bottom channel. Don't pinch the tube with this. Don't pinch the tire. We're only pinching the rim. So now that you've seen that, hopefully that will give you a little bit more close up of what we're doing when you see us actually putting the tire or taking the tire off. So let's go ahead and get to it and get to that step. So here we are at the front wheel. We've got these four 10 millimeter nuts. We've got to loosen those. We don't have to take them off. And then the axle is a 17 millimeter. So, while this tire is up on the bench, now's a good time to remove the nut off of the rim lock here, and we'll remove the core out of the valve stem. You have a couple spacers here. You see this is the larger one, it's on this side, and the shorter one's gonna be on the other side. You wanna make sure you know where these go because when you're putting it back together, they have to go in the same spot. Right off the bat, I want to let you know if you are moving faster than a herd of turtles going through peanut butter, then you are going too quickly. Slow down. You're not an ISD eraser or something. There's the two by fours. They're protecting the disc. That's why we put those down. It holds it up out of the dirt, off the concrete to keep that disc from bending. And we have a free surface up here to work on. Now, if when you let the air out, it didn't pop off the bead, push it down, press it down. Sometimes you have to put a screwdriver in between the rim and the tire, fold it down, get it into that spoke channel in the middle. Now, my knees are holding the back side of the tire down in the spoke channel. I'm gonna wrap around this piece of uh, rubber, as you can see, and then take your time. We're gonna gently slide it in there and get just the edge of that bead and fold it over gently. Now, if it pops out when you're trying this the first time, that's okay, that means you were right there on that edge, that's good. Uh, you wanna stay away from that tube. Once we've got it pried over like that, your Velcro that we, we set aside, um, tie it around spoons, pry bars, whatever you're using right here. Uh, tie it up and then you don't have to hold it. You don't have to have a mat. He's nice to be there, but if you don't have a mat, then this will hold it uh, you know, in place for you. And from here, we are gonna do the same thing. Just work it around the world without, you know, inch by inch by inch. And we're gonna go around the tire and get this upper bead off.
Now, once we've got the upper bead off, we're going to pull all these little rubber pieces, get them out of the way, get the Velcro off, get the screwdriver out of the way, and then we're gonna reach in there and very carefully pull this tube out of the way. Let's get it out of harm's way so we don't accidentally pinch it or hurt it as we're taking the back bead off. So pull it out, get it out of the way, and now we are going to be ready to take the back bead off. Okay, so how we're gonna start, we're gonna put this piece of rubber in the wheel and kind of work it over with our hands to protect the rim. Now we're gonna insert this pry bar and then we're gonna bend it up and over to press the top of this tire completely off like that. Now, you normally won't have to use two or three, you can just use one, fold it over like that and then just work it with your hand. Sometimes you have to put your knee in there. You don't need someone like Matt to hold it. It's nice, of course, but you can do this by yourself. The last thing I wanna run by you guys is let you know about this rim strip. This protects the tube from the spoke nipples. If it's damaged or torn, you will pop a tube. You prepped the tube and got it ready to install, but a couple things I wanna go over with you. One, if you are a novice and this is your first time or maybe your second, it's good to put that valve core back in, put air in it, go put it under water or something to look for a leak, air bubbles, because you may have already pinched it if it's your first time. Now. <laughs> pro tip if you have done that or you haven't done that and you want to skip that we want to make sure every bit of air is out of the tire before we put the valve core in and the baby powder that we got we're going to soak it down put baby powder everywhere Give have it some love yeah get, have a good time with it the more you put on it, it's not going to hurt it's going to help the tube slide around and when we put it in the tire and we air it up it will you know it'll seat plus if we happen to touch it when we're getting it together it'll be less chance for it to actually pinch and just kind of slide out of the way. So let's go ahead and get started putting it together. The soap that you got, we want to run just a tiny little bead around the tire. And what we're doing here by putting this tiny bit of soap is it's going to help the tire sit in place once we air it up and it's going to help us get it on. For a directional, this is where you'd want to look to make sure that it's going in the right direction. Now, if you have a yellow dot or a red dot somewhere on the tire, different manufacturers, the dots mean different things, but normally, general rule of thumb, that dot is where you're going to want the valve stem or the rim lock in this case. Now, the first thing you want to do is slide this back side under the rim lock. And then if you just work this with your hands, there's a good chance you'll get most, if not all of the tire on just by working it with your hands around this front side. And we're gonna get it under there like that. And then we're just gonna pull it up and over like that. And then if we work it just right, look at there. We've almost got the, no, not quite. Work it. Uh, I'll leave that in there. And let's get one here and try to kind of carefully get this in there. And let's work it up and over. So graceful. All right. <laughs> now that we've got that, it's time to put the tube in. Now, to make sure this stays in, we're gonna go ahead and put the nut on it. We're gonna get the tube, we're gonna slide it all in, and take your time here. You know, I know it looks like I'm kinda of just throwing it in there, but take your time because you wanna make sure, if uh, especially if this is one of your first times, that it's all the way in there and it's out of your way. Make sure it's way up in there around the rim lock. Don't let it get tied up in the rim lock, uh, if, you're, if your tires have a rim lock. The grip pliers you Yeah, mean? yeah, yeah, them, them. Them things? Who calls it grip pliers, man? Me. <laughs> okay. Let's push the rim lock in by hand and make sure it's up. You can see my fingers pushing it in there. And then let's try to pull this up and over to get it up in there. And then I will do that one more time, just over here, very carefully. We don't want to get that tube all right, and now that that's down like that, that will give me room 
to take care of the rim, wrap it up with this, and then we're gonna grab this Iranian steering wheel and we're gonna get it up in here. Make sure, remember in the video I showed you, get it all the way down and kind of clamp it. You don't have to super tight, just a little bit, a firm clamp. And now as we work this tire around, that's gonna keep in place and keep this bead from coming off. So it should give us plenty of space. Um, so now we're just gonna use this and work this sucker around. Nothing to it. All right, guys. And there you have it. We're good to go. We're ready to go put it up on the bench and let's get some air in it now. All right, so we're gonna fill this up with 35 pounds and go and give her the juice. We want the tire to bead onto the rim and we wanna make sure that it's all the way around before we tighten the rim lock. If you over tighten it, you can dent the rim. You can kind of pull the tire out of round because it pulls too much on the bead. So you want it snug, you know, with a, a little pressure, but don't just wrench the crap out of it. So like one ugga dugga? <laughs> no, we don't need ugga dugga. I went ahead and took the nut off of this uh, valve stem because some of these Hondas have these little rubber booties like this. Uh, some people won't use them. Uh, I like them because it seals the mud a little bit out of the, the you know, tire itself. So we're going to put that on. We're ready to put this thing on, but before we do, the spacers. Make sure that you have the longer spacer over here on the left and the shorter spacer over there on the right. Watch carefully as we slide the axle, sorry, before we slide the axle in that we get that brake disc lined up just right. So it goes in there and then we're gonna get the axle and slide it in place just like that. All right, make sure we got it started. All right, we're ready to tighten it up. Looks like we got a couple threads started. Then we're just gonna tighten it up. All right, once we've got that axle tightened up, we're gonna get these four little 10 millimeter bolts and go ahead and snug those up. Not much pressure, just snug those all up. I think it's about time to get back to the uh, the rear tire now. Before we get started on the rear, a couple things I wanna run by and let you know. The chain adjusters, we wanna take note where they are. Uh, if you notice on this one, we're at 16 on left, we're also at 16 on the right. And the reason we're doing this, when we put this all back together, it's gonna to be a lot easier to set them there at 16. And then if we have to make adjustments, it's not gonna be much and it's gonna make the whole process a lot smoother and a lot quicker for us. Now, this is as simple as a 24 millimeter nut we're gonna take that loose. We're gonna hold the axle steady with a 17 millimeter. Once we get that loose, press the tire forwards, pick the chain up off the sprocket with your hand. It's very easy. And then pull out the axle and get this thing out of the way. And you know what? We've done this exact same thing just a minute ago on the front. No need to make you guys sit through it again. It's the exact same process. All right guys, so now we're here at the back. We've got the tire mounted, that was a fast one. The spacers, make sure your larger spacers over here on the left and the smaller hey spacers. Hey man, I, I hear your phone ringing. Oh, the iPad. Oh, that's, that's Rufus. That's, that's that crazy boomer. Uh, <laughs> He's supposed to have us some patrons, man. Boys, <laughs> boys, 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 uh, Look at that <laughs> turn up bottle, what is that? Patron. Oh my God. Patron. <laughs> Dude, no. 
That's Patron. That's like expensive liquor. And that's all you got. <laughs> Come on, man. We wanted you to set us up a Patreon page so that people can contribute some pocket change if they wanted, you know, like sponsors to help us out with production costs, stuff like that. But you get good money? Yeah. Like, we get real money? That's what we need. We don't have no money. You, 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 you. <laughs> Patreon? No, 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 no. Patreon? No, no. Patreon? We're filming, man. If you get some uh, someone on the Patreon or something, then, then call me, but otherwise, like... All right, when you got that. Okay, I'm out, man. Later, Jeez. Boomer. Shots. <laughs> <laughs> to this guy. Like, where'd you get, get a smurf size bottle anyway? Yeah, I don't know why they want me to go get this Patreon. But heck, if they're not doing the drink it, I reckon <laughs> I'll drink it. <laughs> anyway, okay, moving on. So, to make sure your chain is over on the far side of the swing arm and it'll sit right on the sprocket once we put all this together. You don't have to have a helper to slide the axle in, but it does make it a little bit easier. Now, from here, we just have to press it all the way forward, grab that chain, set those back to 16, and then we're gonna tighten that axle up. Wanted to show you this, we did have to move it to 17. We were close at the 16, it was a great starting point, I'm glad we noted it, but we did have to move it one to get it perfect. So now she's ready to go tear up and have some fun with. Okay, so while we're down here, I figure I might, well, I might as well show you the tire and give you some, some input on the tire from you know, my perspective where I'm here. The tread is very hard. It's a very hard compound. So you know, as far as street use, I think that the hard compound is gonna help with how long the tire lasts. But I also think that as you kind of corner and things, the softer blocks, make you have that kind of shaky feeling. I think this is gonna give you a little more stability. The, the blocks actually widen as you turn with its smooth contour. Uh, so, I, you know, I think leaning it into the corners is really gonna feel well. I think it's gonna have decent street manners uh, for, for such an aggressive tire. And when I say aggressive, I mean, I got these big old dirty sausage fingers. Look at this thing. There, there are some knobs, there's some space in there. I think it's gonna bite. I mean, will really... you stop talking and let's go find out if these things actually. <laughs> he are might good be onto on something. Street. Let's load this thing up and let's go tear it up and get you guys some video of it. Come on. Time we have to have you back at the nursing home. <laughs> Come show you how to ride that thing.
I saw that crash earlier. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we got it on the camera. It went, bro, it wouldn't happen if you had to drive up. I got the training wheels. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. I know I had a great time making it. A lot of my friends and family, they all came together and they helped me do this and I couldn't have done this without them. So guys, thank you. I really appreciate that. Now, if you enjoyed the video a little bit, you kind of owe it to them as well. So please thank them in the comments. Now, if there was something that you liked about the video, comment, let me know. If there was something you didn't like or maybe you want to see a little differently, let me know. I can't change it if you don't let me know. It's my first video and we're doing this for you guys. So anyway, until next video, guys, stay safe, stay happy, and never stop learning. Nobody knows everything. It's going to be a ride.